teacher and you've got 30 kids all day long, how do you excite them with the content standards and objectives? Now art integration, what it does, it uses art and creativity to teach the West Virginia content standards and objectives. It was more of a getting a, um, uh, a different type of art, I guess a different um, media. What we look for individual students to receive from this, um, um, first and foremost, is to raise their student assets. To not be afraid to be creative. It helps in their uh, personal accomplishments. It's something that's challenging um, to your brain. It's challenging to um, your skill set. And it's something that um, builds character in a person, I think. You can really take pride in it. And I think if a child learns it, um, especially a kid that you know, maybe is not exposed to it that often. Having it in the schools like this, I think, is a real important um, part of uh, the art integration program. Some of the classes we had, we started with um, Lynn Lavin. She's a visual artist, and she did a pottery class in the fourth grade class and did a program called Endangered Animals. So she took all of this material. Um, first, we talked about endangered animals, and it hit the teachers, the classroom teachers, science content standard and objectives to talk about why are animals endangered, what kind of habitats they have, what's happening in the world that is endangering the animals. Then she introduced them to clay and she taught them how to make these little animals. The art integration class on um, how to uh, teach kids how to um, create films, how to do filmmaking, documentaries, um, even some stop motion animation stuff. They made a peace sign out on the soccer field out of the kids. One of the sixth grade teachers um, I had thought about uh, what if we did a music video on um, the song Where Is the Love by the Black Eyed Peas. The kids really wanted to do it. They were all excited about it because uh, they wanted to integrate that part of uh, wellness, I think. Um, you know, anti-bullying, things like that, into the, into the art program. Bullying is a hot, hot topic right now. And there are some kids that are so, they just, they don't get the skills at home to how to communicate and how to handle themselves. And so we worked with a theater artist and director to actually go in and role play with kids one on one. So the outcome would be they would have skills when it's outside of the classroom that they would have a phrase or just a thought to give them more empowerment and encouragement when they are in a situation with boys. What? your body inside feel like when they got too close. Good, good work. Did everybody hear what he said? He said weird. So if they're, if they're on one side becoming stronger individuals, then academically they're also becoming stronger too by, by having a fun way to learn. And if they're achieving their content standard and objectives, then they're academically stronger. So then when they sit down, they have to take the you know, standardized testing, or when they're even out of here and move away from Brooklyn Springs, they, they found a new way to learn. This program, I think, was um, perfect for that, and it's something that I think is uh, vital to the community. By 2014, I think we could have access to the arts for every kid in the county.